Welcome. You want to know about venture capitals? And you will know about venture capitals after watching this video. Short intro. Remember to drink water. All right, now let's continue. I'm really bad at intros. Venture capitals are actually companies that invest in all kinds of businesses by gathering money from a group of investors and carefully selecting the companies they are going to invest in from the fund they create from the pooled money. As mentioned in my previous videos on startup investment series, the terms and conditions for raising capitals from a venture capital is not as flexible as the other ones. These venture capitals usually pool investment funds from various sources like pension funds, wealthy individuals and as well as insurance companies. Then the venture capitals decide where they are going to invest their money in. They are going to analyze the potential of your company in the near future and based on their financial forecasting, they will decide whether or not to invest in your company. And of course, venture capitals go for equity financing. They are not likely to go for debt financing. The reason venture capitalists are attractive to some businesses is that they have the ability to provide the biggest amount of capital to any business. And of course, since they are promising to provide that much amount of money, there are some obvious catches. First of all, you will not be able to choose the direction your own company is going. VC firms are going to own enough shares of the company to have a say in whatever managerial decisions you are planning to take. So, going with a venture capital firm is not going to be a good idea if you want to direct the way your business is going to go by yourself. Another thing you need to be clear about is that venture capital firms do not necessarily invest on startups and early stage business ideas. They find out the businesses that are already successful and they will value the company themselves to find out the potential earnings they can get by investing in there. These people will only invest in businesses if they are sure about the positive returns they are going to get. You are likely to get one or two business books and even blogs that are going to say that venture capital firms are there to help out with the seed stage funding and nurturing the ideas of up and coming entrepreneurs. But the reality is they are likely to fund the businesses that have already proven to have a successful business model and are thinking about reaching a larger portion of the market. Even at that point, it is risky for the venture capitalists to invest. And the reality is that they often invest in only 1% of the businesses that approach them for the funding. That is why the pitch in front of these people should be prepared more meticulously than anything else. And the last video from this series of mine is going to be about how to pitch your idea. You bet I'll make the best video explaining everything you need to know about pitching your business idea to anyone, absolutely anybody. There are some obvious benefits of getting the funding from a venture capital firm. The first one would be that you will get help from them in various managerial processes. You can compare this point to a similar thing mentioned for angel investors. But the help in here is going to be multiple times greater than that of the angels. That's because there are a lot of experienced businessmen that are likely to be involved in a well-known venture capital firm. They can help you out with a lot of things as well as provide with valuable network that you can use at any section of the business. 
Since VC firms provide equity financing, they usually have one or more person present in the board of directors. I explained a similar point as a disadvantage in a situation where you will not be able to do whatever you want to do with your company. The overall direction of the company will be decided by everyone present at the board which will include the members from the venture capital firm as well. But it can be a good thing, especially when you actually lack the experience and expertise for deciding on major managerial decisions. Most of us believe that we will be able to run a business by ourselves with the help of a small number of people. Keep in mind, it is more or less possible to launch and steer a business in the beginning years. But as the business grows, it will soon be overwhelming for a small group of people to do everything that is needed for the betterment of the company. You simply cannot know everything there is to know about running a business. That is why the help from venture capital firms can be an uplifting boost for companies. Everything has its positive and negative sides. So before going into venture capital firms, you need to weigh in both the pros and the cons and then go for them. And now, I hope you know about venture capital firms. This is where I will be ending the discussion for VC firms. A reminder that you can support me to continue this channel forward on Patreon. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can still support this channel by liking, sharing, subscribing and all that. Now, bonus time. And for bonus, I'd like to talk about polonium. Not that much, just one fact. Polonium was named after Poland. Alright, this is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, if you are still watching. Now, I really hope you learned something new today. Goodbye for now.